Hello friends, in this video we're going to examine andragogy and we will begin with the introduction to the adult learner. Like this little saying down here that adults are not just grown children. Now some, some adults may be just grown children, but adults in generally are not just grown children. Adults learn differently from children. Uh, what is andragogy, you might ask? Well, Malcolm Knowles is considered the father of andragogy, and what Malcolm Knowles noted is that while children are not little adults, as pointed out by Piaget, adults are not just big children. Knowles observed that adults learn differently from children. He believed that as adults required different instructional strategies than children. Now, let me carry you back in the past prior to Piaget, Piaget came along into a system where uh, knowledge was just put out there, you either learned it or you didn't. And then he noticed, uh, Piaget noticed that children uh, require different types of instruction, that children are developing differently, that there are different stages at w which they go through with their learning, and that uh, in those different stages that learning occurs in a different manner. So what Piaget pointed out is that children are not just little adults. Children require special types of instruction. And Piaget is uh, seen as the father of pedagogy. Now Knowles later observed that, well, if children are not just little adults, adults are not just grown children. Uh, adults learn differently than children, just as children learn differently than adults. And Knowles believed that in different strategies were required to teach adults over those strategies that were used to teach children. Knowles developed andragogy as the study of how adults learn and the development of methodologies for effectively teaching adults. So andragogy is about how adults learn and about what methodologies that you might use in order to teach adults. Now, let's consider just a moment the adult learner. The adult learner is very different than, than the, uh, the child learner. The adult learner has a need to know why learning is important. Uh, the adult learner isn't going to learn something that, that the adult doesn't deem to be relevant to their own personal situation. The adult learner has a very well-developed and very strong self-concept uh, already in place. Uh, the adults uh, you'll find adults don't like being talked down to. Adults want to be considered peers because they're adults. Children will generally accept the teacher talking down to them because they see the teacher as an adult and they see themselves somewhat as children. But as you become an adult, you don't, uh, you really don't like being talked down to. You want to, you need to know why the learning is important, and you need to be treated more as a peer. Uh, you bring to the, uh, the table, the adult does, extensive life experience. Uh, I, for many years, have led churches, and it's a lot of fun to stand up and speak to a congregation about some subject, and have in that subject, say, someone who was uh, already in middle age before I was born. I have one very sweet member of our church who's 94 years old, and I'm 56, uh, he, he met Winston Churchill. I just read about it in a book. So life experience is very much a part of adult learning. Uh, adults have a readiness to learn that must be engaged. And adults uh, require a context for the learning. Why is it important? Uh, how is this going to help me? What's it going to do for me if I learn this? And motivation is very important in the, in the teaching of adults. So the adult learner has a need to know. Uh, Self-concept is important. Life experience. They bring many different life experiences to the table. They have a readiness to learn. Uh, the context of the learning is required. And if you can, if you can show them why it's important and, and make it fit their context, fit their, value their life experiences and those things, then adult learners can be motivated to take charge of their own learning and, uh, and really move forward from there. Now, teaching the adult learner, I want to go back over this. They're the core adult learning principles. These are the things that we just covered. Adults have a need to know, self-concept, prior experience, readiness to learn, 
orientation to learning. And that again refers to the context of the learning. Why is the learning important? And then they're able to motivate themselves to learn if they deem it to be important. The next layer to this is individual and situational differences that occur with the adult learner. First of all, there are subject matter differences, there are individual differences, and situational differences. Uh, the subject matter means different things to different individuals because of their life concept text in which they've encountered the subject. And individual adults are very different. They have experienced uh, vastly different circumstances in life. When you go back to the uh, generation of adults that left us a few years ago, moved on down the conveyor belt of life, who had gone through the Great Depression, they were very, very distrustful of banks. They were very much about, you know, you need to plan, you need to look ahead, you need to have cash ready in your hands that you can use. The uh, individuals who lived through World War II are different. Those who went through Vietnam, the the veterans that came back and that were not appreciated for their service to their country, those who've lived through Desert Storm, the 911 incident changed our world forever. So we have very many different individual life course differences with adults, and these affect how adults learn because they affect what adults value. Then the situational differences. An adult is not just an adult is not just an adult. And I am not just me, and I'm not just me. Sometimes situations in life change. Uh, when you've supervised employees, uh, sometimes you find that you have a very good employee who comes in one day and just flakes out. Well, the likelihood is, is that there's some situation going on in their life that has created that. Adults live in adult situations and face adult challenges and adult situations, and it affects their, their learning and must, must be recognized. I remember many years ago teaching a lady in mathematics. I, I taught basic math and had her in developmental algebra and intermediate algebra and then in college algebra. She's an excellent student, and one day she just wasn't in class. Well, after a couple of days of missing, I called to see, you know, if something had happened. And lo and behold, something had happened. Her husband had left her, and her life was devastated. And, of course, what I did is help her get back on track and help her finish the course. And one of the neatest things that will ever happen to me in my career is she came back after she got her bachelor's degree, and she told me, she said, uh, Dr. Walter, I graduated summa cum laude. Now, I graduated thank laude, and the chancellor said good laude, but she graduated summa cum laude. Some say that's summa cum laude. But anyway, that means with a 4.0 GPA. And she told me, said, do you remember calling me that day? I said, I certainly do. And she said, I was considering suicide when you called, and it meant something to me that, to know that someone cared. Adults need to know. They're, they're, they need to be treated as peers. They have different experience. There's a readiness to learn. Uh, they want to know the context of the learning, but they're able to motivate themselves as well. But you need to recognize that the subject matter for different adults is perceived differently. Individuals, uh, adults are different. They have had many different life course uh, situations that they've lived through, and those life course situations change their, their vision of learning, and, their, and, and also impact their motivation. Uh, situational differences occur in the same adult. So teaching adults is not like, quite like teaching children. Now, children go through situations and they differ, but it is much more pronounced at the adult level. Then the goals and purposes for learning also are important. You have societal growth, individual growth, and organizational growth, you know, a society has changed since I was, was a young man. And I hear some people sit around and say, oh, society's gone to hell in a handbasket. Well, you know, if we're always very prone to lionize the past and make out like it was better than it really was. I, I don't know about you, but I like fast cars and I like air conditioning and I love the Internet. And I, I am very, very delighted at, at the, the, the movement towards the quality of all people that has occurred since I was a young man. Society grows and it changes. 
Uh, sometimes we find adults that are caught in the past, and we need to help them kind of move forward to the future. I, I just got abused the other day. I went online, and I checked my email, and I had an email from, from a 90-year-old lady who is just loving email, and she's just sending all sorts of stuff to people. Well, if she can change, the rest of them can change. Individuals also grow based upon their experiences and the things that they come across. And then, then we have organizations that are changing, and we must learn to change with them. What I want you to see from this is that teaching the adult learner is a very complicated process. By teaching adults, we are, we, are, we are entering into a different world than what we have in the field of pedagogy. In a little while, we'll talk about instructional strategies, but the difference in the adult learner requires different strategies for teaching. And in pedagogy, where the teacher can stand and be the fount of all wisdom and knowledge, in the, in the andragogical model, there are many in the class who may know as much or more about specific events than the teacher does, and the teacher becomes more of a guide to help, help the adult learner who is motivated to achieve uh, the goal of learning and, and to understand the purpose behind what they're doing. Adults are not just grown-up children. Adults learn differently than children. Andragogy is founded upon four great principles, and these come from the past diagram. An explanation of why specific things are taught is needed. Adults want to know, why do I need to learn this? And those teachers who are trapped in the pedagogical model don't want to explain that, but, but knowing why learning is important is very, very essential for adult learners. Instruction should be task-oriented and provide a context for learning. Now, what, what I really mean by this is that instruction is experiential. Uh, adults learn differently than children. Uh, children are very much into analytical learning. Adults are very much into experiential learning. They measure things based upon their experiences. And, and you know, you'll hear an adult say, well, we tried that and it didn't work. Well, that's, that's very natural way that adults approach tasks. Instruction needs to be experiential and it needs to provide the context of why the learning fits the experience and is important for the experience that the adult is about to face. Instruction should take into account the wide range of different backgrounds of learners. When you go teach a kindergarten class, I would assume that most of the kids will be in a relatively narrow band of knowledge, certainly some will know more of others. But just, just suppose you go in and teach a class of adults and you have someone there that is 70 years old, you have someone there that's 18 years old, and you have someone there that's 50 years old. You may have someone there that has, was a veteran who served on foreign soil. You may have a police officer. You may have a, a manager of a company. Adults bring in wide ranges of backgrounds and wide ranges of experiences, and those experiences need to be validated in the andragogical model. And instruction should promote self-direction and provide guidance. Uh, in the pedagogical model, the uh, teacher is certainly the source of all wisdom, but as we teach adults, we need to recognize that the, the faculty or the teacher is, is a guide, that, that the person who is responsible for learning is the adult, and the adult must take responsibility to learn and, and take it seriously. If the adult does not learn, then the adult is responsible for not learning. And in the pedagogical model, we generally blame the teacher if learning didn't occur. Look at these things again, founded upon four principles, an explanation of why specific things are taught, instructions uh, task-oriented, very, very much experiential. Instruction should take into account the wide range of background differences of the learners and should promote self-direction and provide guidance. Well, as always, I want to thank you very much for your patronage. Uh, in, the, in the mantra of the uh, movie The Hunger Games, May the odds be ever in your favor. And of course, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Unless you and I are engaged in the same event, then it's every man for himself. You have a good day.